scientific method, something that everybody uses every day, and I know that we cover this and I always tell you, hey, everything involves science in some way. Okay, let's use for example when you get sick or when you come to school and you want to get out of class or whatever, what's the first thing you tell your teacher? Can I go to the nurse? But what did you observe about yourself? A headache. A headache. Okay, so the first thing you did, or your stomach hurts, is you made an observation. Okay, then what's the next thing you do? You made the observation, you say, hey, I don't feel good. What do you do now? You come up to me and you say, what? Can I go to the nurse? Can I go to the nurse? You're asking a question. Okay, can you go to the nurse? But why do you want to go to the nurse? But what do you think is causing you not to feel bad? You think it might be your head, you think it might be your stomach, maybe you have a virus. So what are those things that we're doing? Coming up with different hypotheses, different reasons that we might be sick, okay? So we're coming up with a hypothesis. But what's the only way we're going to figure out what's wrong with us? We go to the nurse. If we get experimented on we get experimented on? Okay. Sure. Go ahead, Annie. Tell me we, what you mean by testing. Test it. Take our temperature. Yeah. Okay. Like Maybe giving you different medicines and stuff. Maybe giving you Pepto-Abysmal for your stomach or some Tylenol for your head. You do an experiment. Okay. And then you, re you, you uh, after you experiment, you're going to write down, what is the nurse going to write down on that little piece of paper? If, if, you're, if you have a temperature, she's going to, what is she really doing? She's recording what? Your data. Your data. She's taking your temperature. She's saying, okay. You know, I gave him some Tylenol, or I gave him some Pepto-Abysmal, I called their mom. She's recording the data, okay? And, I, and by looking at that data, which you bring back to me, okay, I do what? What's, you what decide. You do? I decide, you know, I draw a conclusion. Is this person really sick? Are they just faking? Do they not really want to take this test? I draw a conclusion, okay? And just even that is an example of how scientific method is employed every day. Just you asking to go to the nurse, or you not feeling good. You don't necessarily have to sit down in a lab in order to use a scientific method. You can use it any day in any place. Okay, now we're going to go and we're going to do the microscope lab. I need you to grab a partner. So there's going to be two to a group. Come and grab a lab packet. Each person needs, each group needs to go to a lab station with a microscope. Go ahead and plug your microscope in. Let's My light isn't working. This wrong. My microscope light's not working. Okay, guys, everybody get together. Let's try to use the scientific method and figure out why her microscope isn't working. These microscopes aren't working, okay? So that's our observation. Now, let's ask a question. Jo uh, Joel, what's the question that we want to ask? Why is it not working? Why is the light not working? Why are these microscopes not working? Okay, now hypothesis. Jose? Oh, uh, maybe the light burned out. Maybe the light burned out. Brian? Maybe there's a short. Maybe there's a short. Go ahead, Alicia. Oh, um, I was going to say maybe it's something to do with the, the jack or the... The outlet itself? Yeah, that. Good idea, good idea. Well, let's try it. The next step, the fourth step is the experiment. So let's go ahead. Brian, go ahead and plug yours in. Okay, and his light's on right now. Go ahead, Amy. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with these two microscopes. Go ahead, Emily, plug yours in. Okay, Amberly's is off now, Amy's is off, and so is Ryan's. Okay, so this is the experiment. Now, what's the data that we need to put together? What's a couple things? Eric, what's something we can add to this data-wise? Um. They didn't go out until you plugged in Amberly's. Okay. None of these went out until Amberly's was plugged in. So what's an idea? What 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 could be causing all this? Amberly's. 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 Amberly's microscope. Okay, so everything was okay until Amberly's microscope was plugged in. And then Alex, did you hear something whenever Amberly's microscope was plugged in? I heard like a little click. A little click. And I heard that too. What could it have been that was causing that click? Her watch hitting the desk. The watch hitting the desk, okay. <laughs> what else could it have been, Brian? I don't know. The, the microscope itself. The microscope itself. Okay, let's try it again. Go ahead, unplug your microscopes. Okay, I'm going to reset this fuse over here. Now try it again, Ryan. Okay, Ryan's is lighting up now. Andy? Andy's is lighting up. Now, Amberly, go ahead and plug yours in. 
Oh. Okay, once again, they all short it out. So, let's talk about this. We have the data. I reset the fuse. Every time Emberly plugs hers in, the rest of these go out. What are we, what's an idea? What can be going on here? Somebody give me some kind of feedback as far as what they think might be happening here. Something in the outlet. Oh. Something in the outlet? Let's try it on a different outlet. Let's try Emberly's microscope on a different outlet. I'm going to reset this again. Okay, Emberly, go to a different outlet. Okay, so obviously that outlet's working. And we go ahead. Once again, they went out. So we eliminated that option. What else could it be? Her microscope. Good one, Jose. What might be wrong with her microscope? The wires. The wires. The wires. And uh, upon closer observation, we can actually see that the wires in this microscope are exposed. So they're actually grounding out on the lab station and causing all the lights to go out by flipping that fuse over there. So we use the scientific method by making an observation. Number one, all the lights on this side of the room are out on the microscope. The second thing we did was ask the question, why are those lights out? Okay, we made a couple hypotheses. One, the light might be burned out in that microscope. Two, it's Emberly. Three, it was the outlet. Four, what else did we say? The microscope itself, okay? Then we experimented. We tried plugging them in, seeing which ones worked, and every time we plugged Emberly's in, all the other ones went out. Okay, so we obviously narrowed it down to something that had to do with Emberly. We took all that data, we analyzed it in a way by asking more questions. We realized at the end that it was actually Emberly that had the wires exposed that was causing this fuse down here to flip. And you notice every time that we had to replug in the microscopes, I would flip that switch back, okay? It was the fuse. Her wires being exposed were grounding out that microscope and causing the fuse to flip. Guys, I, I need y'all to be on your best behavior today. Today is, it's not a real good day for us here. Um, as you can tell, there's been an unfortunate series of events that have happened. And uh, I was coming up for cross country workout this morning and I pull around the corner at 6.15 or so and it's usually all nice and quiet. And I turn around and there's, there's lights everywhere. There's police and cars and fire trucks and ambulance. It's just all over. And I, I didn't know what was going on. And I, I come in here and sure enough, they're all in my room. And guys, it's crazy. I, I don't know what happened here. Um, the police, they couldn't stick around. They had to, they had to leave. There was a, y'all know where Pratt Road is? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They were in the middle of their investigation in Pratt Road. There was a, a squirrel and a cat across the road, head-on collision, and piled up, and Pratt Road was just a mess. And so they had to leave, okay? And uh, they just they just left me with these packets, which you have at your desk. And uh, you know they they ask us to try to see what we can do about this. So uh, we're we're going to fight through this today. It's a rough day. But we got to do the best we can, all right? Um, since the police officers left and they're not around, they put me in charge, okay? They made me a deputy today, all right? Now, do I have anyone that can fight through this and do some reading for me? Yeah. Now, Ivana, okay. could, could you read the police report for me, please? Okay. Um. Last night, a body of a scientist was discovered laying in the science lab at Red Oak High School at 154 Louise Ritter. The name was being withheld pending notification of the next of kin. Now, you went through here and you had, you had the different samples. You had your blood samples. You, you had, a, you had the, uh, the onion samples. You had the, uh, the note samples. You had all these things. What did I have you do with those? Research. Daniel, we looked under the microscope. Daniel, we looked under the microscope. You're working with the microscope here, looking at the. What were you getting practice doing? What? Working with the microscope. So we're getting some work, microscope work in here. At the same time, remember, just just before we started doing this, we were going over the scientific method. Scientific method helps you do what? Help you learn like. 
How to solve problems. How to solve problems. <laughs> CSI Miami, CSI this, CSI, this is kind of like CSI, Red Oak, right? Okay, <laughs> this, this is a field. This is a big field out there. This is a career opportunity. This is one of the big, big things going nowadays for people. They're using this type of technology to go in and solve crimes. You know, there's a little bit of information in there about DNA. That's something we're going to get to in the future, the DNA. DNA analysis and all that. They can come in here and they can take hair samples, they can take blood samples, and they can go back and piece stuff up. So this is real world application here. This, this is stuff that you can take in here and they're using it out in the real world. 